a character. Oh my god, now she's over there. Yuri is busy in the quest Snowy passed. Oh my god. Okay. Now it's flipped. So now I gotta do this. Timaeus? Hey, Timaeus! Uh, is that Albedo? Why is he leaving? Because he doesn't like you. Why does he look so serious? Did something happen? Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Oh, it's sucrose. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Ah, uh, so we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh, upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh, I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I wonder if Timaeus's research topic is... Is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. Sh surely not. It's not that boring, is it? Is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? Uh, well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet sincerities in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone. So Paimon to finish them all yet okay Paima was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice that way they'll be preserved for as long as time on needs do you realize how absurd you sound right now oh yeah i'm afraid that sort of thing is a little uh boring huh seems pretty straightforward to paimon can't you do it <laughs> paimon I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. She's just asking you to juice fruits. What the? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't sound. She like wants you to make a mason jar, and you're like, Mom. I could give it a try if you really want, but I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. That is pretty oh, terrifying. I think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Sorry, I just don't know what ha has gotten into Paimon today. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy. In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt... This seems Alchemy like basic secrets. cooking, though. Like, course, I don't understand why you know it's so hard now. for people to... But Make then I have to juice admit, or preserves. Alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, oh, 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 I guess indefinitely? Sorry. No, yeah, but that still. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. You can make it last longer. Um, don't blame yourself for Paimon's outlandishness. I'll make sure to keep Paimon in check in the future. <laughs> That seemed oh, perfectly course, reasonable. Oh, of course, these are just and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Uh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. He kind of is that kind of person, though. <laughs> but there's something about Albedo today. Something seems different. 
What could it be? Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Oh, that reminds me, I need to finish Dragonspine. Hakumu, Hakumu Matata. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the latest Sonic buddy. Welcome to the stream. Alright, where are we headed? Go to Dragonspine. We love to see it. No, nobody wants to go to Dragonspine. Just throw that out there. Lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look. Hey, Traveler and Paimon. Fancy meeting you all the way out here. It's Amber. Amber? Cyrus? Talon? What's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Huh. Oh, Long time no see. The Traveler is joining us too. Oh, great. Fantastic. Wonderful. Hello, I've seen you before in Lurks, and I thought I followed, but apparently not. I no, it's no problem. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate the it. Joining us. Thank you for the it's Lurks, too. The kind of and the on fire. Want to have around in a tight spot. <clears throat> oh. That did... That. <coughs> that went down the wrong tube. Let's see. Sorry, what have I walked into here? me to explain. The Adventurer's Guild is holding winter training on Dragonspine. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragon Spine. I need to get back into this game. It's been almost a year. Yeah, I just restarted now, every <clears> with the addition of uh, I've been working on this Inazuma. Half a year but I think I'm going to start playing it more regularly. <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? <clears throat> hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. Uh, Amber, what are you doing here? Is the Adventurer's Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. Yeah. I heard he lives here He's... on the camp, so I escorted him back. He's been there for a while. I remember that kid. But Joel's father... I know. Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. <clears throat> Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aw, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, I said I'd fill the snowman with this him. This game is my life for a long time. Doing. It also gives me like, a chance to I was like, I'll play this game and then end up playing Genshin instead. <laughs> Drove my partner crazy. He was like, <clears throat> I thought they were... Uh, I thought we were going to play so-and-so game together, and I was like, but Genshin! I, uh, the first year that it was out, I played it almost non-stop, and then I think <clears throat> around the time Dragon Spine came out, I stopped playing it. So it was a while, and then In Inazuma came out, I don't know, like this year sometime, and I started playing again. And I was like, man, I'm so behind, I have like so many side quests. <laughs> And obviously they they keep updating it so uh since it's for joel count me in oh really thank you let's go meet up with joel then oh i invited another friend of mine to join too she should be here any second she'll be perfect for this kind of thing there are so many like hey, Cyrus, orphan children in this game Is that okay no problem go ahead i still have some final checks to make so i will call you before we depart that guy in Leeway who thinks his parents are playing hide-and-go-seek and he's like the hide-and-go-seek champion. He's not. 
Timmy on the bridge with the birds. <laughs> I don't think that he's an... Well, he might not be an orphan per se, but like his... He definitely doesn't have a... Uh, definitely doesn't have a dad that came home. Wait, where are we going? Mm -mm -mm. So weird. The cool thing about Genshin, though, is you can play with you can play with other people. I know <clears throat> when I first started playing, a bunch of people I knew played at the same same time, so it was really fun in there. Hey, Joel, we're here. Yeah, I got pretty far myself. Then uh, life happened, and I stepped away for a bit and was able to play other games and never went back. But I really want to get back into it. I'm just gonna have to moderate myself. It's been a long time, Joel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman too? Is that Eula? Build yeah. a snowman. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This he is was Eula, like, I need the something else. <laughs> and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. <laughs> All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa. Eula just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was shorthanded. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used Except to build corpses. snowmen with his dad, <clears throat> and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge I have a dedicated a day Friday, snowman. and hopefully that'll keep fun. me uh, from going all crazy on this game again. I think I'm going to start playing on Sundays a lot, <clears throat> because all of the ruins are open on Sunday, so it's like the best day to grind for things. But for now, I just kind of play it when uh, no, nothing like that. When I want to play something chill. Something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Eula? Then let's get started. Yeah, I wanted Sundays, First, but I work, so my schedule is a little. Some supplies. Eh, it depends. <laughs> Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Yeah, let's do it. On wow. Dragon Spine? Those two are fast. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? You're acting a little out of character. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking. Um, well... <clears throat> We're alone here. Just tell me. There's no one else around. You, you can say. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. Sometimes and he I have doesn't to work know later. what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. If I get off on time, I can grind some. But if I get off late, I'm usually like shower, food, bed. Because <laughs> I go in early on Mondays. Yeah, fair enough. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. Then it's time to get building a snowman. So there's something else bothering you? <clears throat> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? <laughs> you shan't be getting off lightly for that. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. She has such a weird backstory. I I feel like I feel like she still would have been able to build a snowman as a child. I don't know. Maybe they were super strict. Just, that seems odd. 
Uh, don't worry about it. The honorary knight will help you. You sound confident. <laughs> All right, then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hello, adventurer. In that case. Uh, I'm like, there's going to be so much to do when I jump back in. Maybe I'll uh, I'll beg my partner for a week before the official date. Uh, date night, as we call it, begins. But with that, uh, I'll be off lurking again. I need to get ready uh, for bed. Another early day in meeting tomorrow. Hope to catch another stream soon, even if I'm just lurking due to work. Yeah, fair enough. Enjoy your rest. Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? Well, that's just how Eula talks. Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Good. <laughs> Thanks again for the follow. And everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up, have you ever seen me on and you want me to for your jump in? Well. I, uh, I'd be happy to. Why I'm not very good and I like playing with bow characters, but. <laughs> uh, I want people to know all the good qualities she has. Eula desperately needs this kind of opportunity. doesn't feel like collecting things. They really go to, like, yeah, that's what I thought they went to. The Frost Bear, or whatever this is called. Um, I'm going to do as much of this first, and then I'll try and get the, uh, extra items. Strange rustling surrounds you. Did you hear that? I just heard strange noises coming from up the mountain. Uh, could they be in danger? Hurry, let's go check it out! Where's the Omega? So, do, 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 do. here's the thing. 
You know what, let's just go up that way. There's no way they heard that from down there. The sound is completely stopped. So it looks like we've lost it. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection. Aren't they? Aren't they? Oh, guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. But if that's the case, what exactly are we dealing with here? I know that voice. What brings you to Dragonspine? So it was just you? Oh, so it was Albedo all along! All along? Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises. And I felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! <laughs> Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. <laughs> The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? It's a long story. Where are Amber and Joel? But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. Actually, it's nothing serious. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus is Stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? <laughs> We're probably overthinking it. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. She said duty. Ah, oh, I see. So, you foisted the rookie off onto Eula, so that you could wander off and, uh, goof around? We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice! What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration. And gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high-quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver-colored particles. But they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. A paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the traveler! Paima wants the traveler to learn how to paint! During our travels, we sometimes have nights Chef Dennis, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the late Sonic buddy. Welcome it's to the stream. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. So you want me to learn to paint now? Yep. Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon. Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Sounds great! What about Amber? Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Favonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. 
All right. Come on, let's go. It's so cold out. Kinda wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Wait, what? Is this right? Hold on. That is not what I selected. Why didn't Oz stay? What happened to Oz? I'm so confused. too close. Whoop. You think this would have been like, because there's so many side quests where it's like, repair this bridge. Or whatever. You think that would have been one of them. What's going on? Hmm. Some things are missing. Oh, because the, uh... It's hard to say their value, but... Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? I don't think it's that simple. I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm. These appear to be... Fresh ones, meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase them down. We can't let them get away. Unless. From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Prince lead up there. Well, they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. By royal decree. <laughs> Not so hard. Uh, ma'am. Okay, well, 
let's back up real quick because I need to uh, not freeze to death. Thank you for the on fire. Oh my god. Why is it really? Okay. Sucks, dude. Let's see if I have a uh, goulash. Doesn't look like it. At least, oh, no, wait, there it is. What happened there? <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on there, but... Uh, of course. Uh, is there a... Oh, So, for the wicked. Here, run up here real quick and heat up.
Lawacher, Lawacher. Bet you can't keep up with me. Two, 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 two. Hey. Shout out, thank you for the uh, the on fire. Appreciate that. Oh, shit. Wasn't paying attention. That's not the best place for this, but I gotta do something. Fuck, dude. I forget to do this. Or I forget that I can do this, I guess. This is against Cryo, right? Yeah. That's why we have to hurry.
supposed to dodge, not run right into his fists. But I guess that worked too, in a way. Uh, he, he just loved to crawl, climb at the wrong time. I, I don't understand what that's about, but whatever. Bet you can't keep up with me. Hey, go, go, very Sebasti, Matt, thank you for the follow. Thank you for being the latest Sonic buddy. Welcome to the stream. Let it rain. Uh, of course, you did. Bet you can't keep up with me. Come on. isn't even part of the quest, that's like the worst part. Royal decree. Uh, you can't 
Oh my gosh, I hate when it does that. why Oz puts campfires out. What you got against campfires, Oz? Was that the, uh... No, it's over here. I'm gonna do this since it's right here somewhere. Chester, thank you for the 500 mana. Crimson Agate. I mean, free in theory. Wait, did this get destroyed too? I mean, I don't really need this one. Wait, what? It's gonna make me go back up there? That's weird. Our 
thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. I'm yelling, Timber. The other. Here, more footprints. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now. Hmm. You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide. Let's go in. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Got it. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. You take care too. Of course. After Albedo leaves. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is taking forever. He's not been that long. Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring. Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back! Yes. Then why is the thief not with you? Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh. oh. So after all of that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Oh, what a waste! Still, we won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Yeah, for star silver! Look, we got quite a lot! We got two pieces, calm like down. Said, some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star silver? Wait, what? <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you have to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. 
Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. That's a weird Useless way to... Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first! So, let's start by... Help! Help me! Hey, wait, did you just wait, say humans? Did you guys hear that? We're gonna just gloss over that? A cry for help? That voice sounded very familiar. It's likely an adventure in danger! Let's go check it out. Just another manic Monday. The voice was definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! Is that Bennett? No way! Is that? Hmm? That's what Is he that sounds the like. Traveler in Pymark? Sounds like Joel. It's me, Bennett. Trial by fire. So Infamous is bad luck at other adventurers are rarely willing to team up with him. Yet Bennett has grown used to being alone and doesn't let it discourage him. No matter how many injuries he may suffer, his fiery passion for adventure burns on. Come on, there's treasure waiting up ahead in the, un in the unknown. Benny's adventure team, assemble. Whoa, it's really him! Let's get him out! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it! Have I... have I helped Benny... Bennett before in something? Wow, so much clutter! We're not gonna find the key here, surely! No. Uh-oh, we got company! I hate it already. Send this quickly. Shake it, hamster. Freshness preserved. By royal decree. for the wicked.
searching around because that's what he told us. <laughs> Chatita, thank you for the Leon line. Out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Bandits in a cage? Never saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. We drove off the Fatui. We got revenge for you. Yep, taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurer's Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, <laughs> I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. So you're leading rookies too? Oh! Wait, so that guy Daryl who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? The what? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius? Yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Don't be like that. You're great, too. You can't directly compare uh, knights and adventurers. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, I'm sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Didn't he come with us? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Favonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm, could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Oh, I, why did I think it was the other one? Oh, my nose itches. Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? This is great. Dragon's fine so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. Because people hate it? This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? Right. We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Albedo? Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you. I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? That's what I thought. Okay, so huh? there's some weird... I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but... There's some first duplicate first. pretending to be I Albedo. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... There you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's...
That's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonstone. That's Dragon what I was thinking for the Leon That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh, you weren't even working with Jewel? Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Jewel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh, oh. I see. Interesting. Interesting? You, uh, it sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Albedo recounts meeting you, discovering the theft at the camp. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. You, uh, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Favonius. Traveler? Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. Another tales, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the late science, buddy. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. The, uh, as on preposterous fire as, well. as your claim sounds. And sound. Sir Jester, thank you for the 500. And I will choose to I believe mean, they, uh, that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, not worried I've enough, though. A little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents. But nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Okay. Let's go to my camp. <laughs> uh, I think 
guess this one. I was not paying attention there. Yeah, you nearly got him. Whew, that was a tough fight. Steady now, it's the final. Whoa, nice catch. All right. Two forty eight. Yeah, we're not walking all that way back. Where are we going? My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But... before that... Wow! What a mess! I can help tidy up. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. I do. Yep, that should do it. Neat and tidy. Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and that I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. <clears throat> I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me, my mother and teacher. Her name is Rhine Daughter, a researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? Uh, was not expecting that, actually. When attainment and alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Rhine Daughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? It's like assassination sons classroom of daughter, level logic. Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. A strange and tenacious life force. 
That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. About that, there is something else I couldn't say earlier. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. I feel like that would have actually cleared things up, or at least agreed with them. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Jules? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me, or there is another false me out there. This is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I am afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. I'm not going anywhere. Paimon and, Paimon and I will help with the investigation. We're the only ones who can help. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right, thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurers Guild as planned, and be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me or someone like me. We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you. Good. Then we're agreed. Okay. Let's split up to look for clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times.